In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your shop with Jupyter X. If you're trying to set up a store in Jupyter X, then you'll want to take advantage of WooCommerce, which comes bundled with your theme and simply needs to be activated from the plugin section of the Jupyter X control panel. Once you've activated WooCommerce, you'll also need to install the default WooCommerce pages such as Shop, Cart, Checkout, and My Account. You can easily install them through the WooCommerce setup wizard, which is found in the WooCommerce section of your admin area, or by going directly to WooCommerce Status Tools, then clicking here to create any missing WooCommerce pages. Don't worry, any pages that you've already set up will not be replaced. Then we need to set up the shop details by going to the WordPress left menu under WooCommerce Settings. Here we can define the details of the shop, including the location, currency, shipping, and a bunch more. Also, if you set the main shop page in the WooCommerce settings, it can't be edited with the Elementor page builder. You can only use Elementor for a custom page that isn't assigned to the main shop page or any other default WooCommerce pages. For more information, visit the WooCommerce docs for help configuring WooCommerce settings. Our next step is to add products to our shop. You can add products by going to the WordPress left menu under Products, Add New. Here you can add the products title, description, short description, categories, tags, and more. For detailed information, you can also visit WooCommerce Docs for help adding and managing products. You can also edit your product description and add Elementor widgets to the content if you've enabled Elementor for product post type in Elementor settings. Let's see how this works by going to a product page. So I'm going to go back to All Products to edit an existing product with Elementor. Once inside Elementor, you can edit the description here and add new content below, just like in a page. Now that we have our products added, we need to go to the JupyterX Shop Customizer, which allows us to stylize the global settings of our shop without having to edit any code. From the WordPress dashboard, under JupyterX, choose Customize. Once inside the customizer, click on Shop. We do have detailed articles and videos on these settings, but here is a basic overview of this section. Product Archive lets you adjust the margins and paddings for the Product Archive pages like Product Categories. Then Product Lists allows you to customize the actual elements and grid settings of that page. The Product page is for editing the individual products. Likewise, the checkout and cart allow you to customize the elements on those pages. Once you're happy with these settings, click Publish. In Elementor, you can also create a custom product page with the Raven Products element, which is part of Raven Elements, an exclusive plugin developed by Artbeast that represents new and useful elements to Elementor. It comes bundled with your theme and is accessed here on the Plugins page of the JupyterX control panel. So let's go to a page in Elementor to add some products. On the WordPress left menu, go to Pages and either add a new page or edit an existing page in Elementor. Once in Elementor, search for the products in the Elements dashboard. Then drag and drop the Raven product widget into your layout and edit the settings to match your design. Once you're happy with your layout, click Update to save your settings. Thanks for watching. Cheers!